one of the issues that some users may experience with their fish finder is that their fish finders might shut down when the big motor is started or lock up unpredictably when on the water. More often than not, the roots of these problems can be traced to power and the delivery of power from the battery to the fish finder. Recognize that your Humminbird fish finder may have significant power demands, and in general terms, the larger the display is, the more power that is needed to run it. For example, a Helix 7 draws less than 1 amp, while a Solix 15 draws almost 5 amps, which is a lot of power. Here are a few tips that will help ensure that your Humminbird fish finder gets all the power it needs so you can find and catch more fish. First, be aware of your battery's capacity. Many power-related issues can be solved easily by replacing an old, small battery with a new, larger one. Second, be sure to maintain your batteries by using an efficient and powerful onboard charger, like Minn Kota's Precision Charger. Third, when rigging your fish finder, be sure to run the power cables directly to the battery. Resist the temptation to tap into the fuse block at your dash, as running pumps or other electrical accessories can be a source of interference. Finally, protect your fish finder by using the correct size fuse. Refer to your owner's manual for the specific fuse size needed for your fish finder. These simple tips will help ensure that your Hummingbird fish finders are fully powered so you can enjoy more success on every trip.